Look all right to you guys? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That looks healthy. Did you get a mani? Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, I cut my fingernails oh. like yesterday, the day before, or something like that. Okay. So I maybe want to pay more, a little more attention to the nail bed, I would say. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Do you moisturize? No. Hmm. No, I don't. I, I mean, I probably should. I mean, everyone should, right? Isn't yeah. What is that supposed to do? Moisturization? Keeps, keeps it wet. Why does that help? You like it wet. I don't understand, like, the benefit of your hands being wet. It's like, uh, you know, keeps them supple, soft. You just don't want them to crack. Yeah, you don't want them be to be dry crack. and flaky. Yeah, they, they dry out and get all uh, you get all ashy. I've never once used moisturizer or any of that stuff in my life, and I'm, I'm you're very lucky I'm to fine. have moist skin then. I guess. Yeah, like I'm, I'm I have little, very dry skin. I'm a little oily uh, in the face, but then like my elbows get really ashy. Ah, the old patchy elbow. Yeah, and then you know it's like you guys have your lips cracking out in Boston. Yes, oh, yeah, that was the worst. Yeah, my lips were super fucked up in oh, Boston. Yeah. I and I went to the Seven Eleven. Thinking they would have, of course, have chapstick because mm. it's it's Seven Eleven, it's Boston. Surely people need that sort of stuff. Sure, they didn't have it. At Advil, though, I had a headache, so it, it worked out okay. Yeah. And that taquitos, mm. yeah. which, I mean, by the end of eating those taquitos, I didn't care that I didn't have chapstick anymore. Everything else was okay. Taquito <laughs> oil acts as a natural sealant. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. You just buy it in the bottle, actually, and just Tequito spray oil. it on. Yeah. 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 I just just spray it in your eyes. Just yeah, you know, yeah. Keep everything just lubed up and ready to go. Yeah. That's how I like to stay. Hello, it's Friday here in San Francisco and in most places in the world, I think. Well, it's us. It's not Australia. Australia. Saturday. Saturday. Half and half. Saturday in a good yeah, number some of places. places. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, Japan, it's, it's probably Saturday. In the time most zones definitely. where it matters, it's still Friday. Bring it up the rear here. That's what we do. Always bring it up the rear. Uh, we got some video games. We got a chat room. You guys are in the chat. Drew is looking at the chat. I am indeed. I'm uh, doing my breast, best Rory impression. He's doing his breast. I'm also doing my breast Rory impression. Mm. Mm-hmm. Drew, you've got more than chat back there. I do. You've yeah. got video games. Mm-hmm. You want me to start my video game up? Let's see your video game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Turn the key on your video. Oh, no. Yeah. That's right. Oh, jeez. I've heard of this. <laughs> this isn't... Well, okay. Some people really like this game. <clears throat> Arma? Yeah. Yeah, they're crazy. Yeah, what are they, like super realistic physics or something? Is that the gimmick here? Uh, it's more like if you took a flight, like the, the craziness of a flight simulator and okay. the complexity and applied that to a first-person shooter. Okay. Um, that sounds like a Drew thing. You'll see. Okay. It's like things like player movement. Are, it's weird. There's like Is eight it like different... Kind of, like stance changes Yeah, and stances. Stuff. Is, you can crouch, prone? you can sit, you can... Half lay down. It's real weird. Uh, this we're looking at is a um, a mod uh -huh. called the Arid Anus Insurrection. The Arid Anus, Keep your anus Insurrection. Speaking of dryness, yeah. Yeah. E R I D A N U S. The Arid Anus Insurrection. <laughs> yup, that sounds like the actual way to say it. <clears throat> uh, also known as. The Halo mod for Arma. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, um, I'm going to jump in here to a scenario that I got from Steam. Uh, what's it called? Workshop. Yeah, the workshop. Yeah. It's See, great. Yeah. I figured out my cheat garbage dump, or someone, <coughs> someone oh, yeah? uh, told me what the cheat garbage dump problem was. Where, where is it? The, the, the makers of that mod for uh, City Skylines did not create an icon for it, uh -huh. so it's just a blank space. Mm. I also downloaded a park that gives you millions of dollars when you put it in your Ooh. city. Pretty cool. I envision myself making some coffee tomorrow morning and sitting down and playing cities for significant period of time. Yeah, I put another hour or so into yeah. it last night, started a new city. And, and Jeff, I'm an odd... Whoa! Oh, Jesus. Drew, did you ever find out if uh, Straight up, oh, Dustin. Whoa. Oh. When the first Halo jump was, Drew, you said you were going to look that up. Oh, yeah, I never did. I like that it's very twitchy and fucked up. That yeah, looks, it's Arma. That looks like an assault, a Halo assault rifle. Yeah, look at that. Kind of. Oh, yeah, that totally looks like Halo. Kind of. Enemy spotted. Foot mobiles, 75 meters. Left. Man, 200 meters back. Yep, still Arma. Yep, it is still Arma, despite you back. looking like Contact. some kind of old dust. 75 meters. Left. I see movement. Man, 200 meters back. This announcer needs to settle down. 200 meters right. They're just telling me where everybody is. That's how Arma works. Or he's like a rally co-pilot. Yeah. 200 meters, curve, right. 
Left. Easy. Two. 60. Is this you sprinting? Man, this is me sprinting as sprint. fast as I can move. Um, I can hear are my different stances. Well, I'm not going to go into armor right now, but. Rifleman, 75 meters. Left. I can move my head independent of my body. It's like a mech game. I can put on track IR and do that as okay. well. Um, but really, I just want to show off the halo-ness of this. Soldier, 75 meters front. Whoa. I'm serious. Are you dead? What happened? I'm dead. Who killed you? Someone. Soldier, 75 meters front. That's who killed me. You didn't make it, Corporal. Corporal Brad Bomb. <laughs> May he rest in peace. Yes. Uh, I'm going to jump into the mission editor uh, because that's the easiest way to show off the stuff. Um, and it's not actually that bad. So are people like playing multiplayer with this mod? I found one server, but it was password protected. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So let's, um, let's spawn some bad guys. Let's make them men. Gorillas. Non-playable. Yeah, got it. You go there, and you there, and you're just going to be fodder. Foot uh, machine gun. Yep. So are you making a mission or a multiplayer, like, like spawn this is, points this and is stuff? This is like a single-player mission. Although okay. I, think, I think you can just, they're kind of one and the same. Yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't played a whole lot of Arma. Um, Gee, why not? Because <laughs> it's nuts, Jeff. Crazy. It's real crazy. We should really get back to Altus life at some point. Yeah, we should. There how, are still Altus life. How that stuff is developed. Servers. Because uh, that's... Not o that that stuff is out there. <laughs> I think watching YouTube videos of that stuff is probably more interesting than playing it. Yeah. Unless you really get good at all the control madness of Arma. I think anybody's ever gotten just a big like kind of stomach piece, just a like broke script, Altus Life, right yes. there. L Y F E. Yeah. Yes. What is Altus Life? It's a mod for Arma. What does it do? Everything. Old desk is it a military it's thing? It's like a cops and citizens sort of thing. So you can be a <coughs> citizen and just go around and there's money and that. Is it like some Second Life type thing? No. Like, no. Is it like those, is it GTA that does those mods where people just like to like live their lives and like you'll be a street sweeper or whatever and you'll live that out and that's all you do? Well, yeah. I mean, GTA did have pizza delivery missions and all that sort of stuff. You could live the fantasy of delivering pizza in GTA 3. So. But I heard there's mods where people like just that's all they do. They don't shoot. They don't kill each other or anything. It's like I just drive around. I obey the traffic laws. Like it's okay. a living, breathing city. Thing. Okay. That's, you need to keep that in the air. Okay, you died. Oh, jeez. Well, that's cool. So that's the Pelican. Yeah. You blew it up real good. Um, All this life is... There's some aspect of it where people are simulate. So when people are playing... The, okay, the right answer is I don't know. Okay. But... People like to role play, and they do. They'll do some voice chat front. stuff, and Man, 75 meters front. their people have done some pretty ridiculous stuff that they have then captured on YouTube and and put up, put up some pretty funny videos. I think <laughs> Dan Teasdale's brother has done some of that stuff. It's like right up there with Eve, right? Where it's a lot more fun to hear about it than it is to play it. Yeah, that's the impression I got. It sounds a lot like what I've heard of Second Life. Second Life Role though has a is for sick twists and perverts. Yeah, is that the that. reputation? Freakos. I might try Second Life. There are Netflix week. documentaries Man. about that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah. We've played Second Life on this program oh, before. Yeah. How does that go? A few months ago. It's poorly. A few months ago. I think so, yeah. Could have been here. Didn't Vinny? Yeah, Vinny played it. it was, yeah. Um, Vinny played some Second Life. No good? It's better than this. <laughs> which appears to be non-functional. I don't know. This is kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Second, yeah, Second Life could be a lot of different things. Yeah. But it seems like that anytime I hear about it, it's people doing fucking weird shit with it. Like sex stuff. Sex stuff. Okay. Huh. It's good to uh, some documentaries on Netflix you might want to catch. Okay. About Are there? sex, Second Life, and people meeting on Second Life. There's documentaries just about Second Life sex? Just about people, like couples that 
met on Second Life, and wow. or just people on Second Life. There's one guy who like played a guitar and like played live shows in Second Life, and then he was in Sweden or something on some island with his mom, and then he flew to somewhere in the south and got a lady pregnant and then flew back, and now he sees his kid on a webcam. The hell kind of game is this? It's not a game, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds serious. It's not a game. Huh. Drew. Yeah. Don't fall too deep into the armor hole lest you be watching Swedish dudes play guitar on an island. That sounds it's all right. Really I think that's the end game there. I think it's that sounds the natural progression. Can I just can I skip the armor? Just go straight there. I watched a documentary about LARPers. I do like big yearly oh, which things. One? <coughs> was it, There's uh, two big ones. Yeah. What's, oh, what's the name? Dragon the, Camp and No, uh, the other one starts with a D. I, oh, what is it's it? It's the one that was more recommended. Yeah. Several people uh, like, told me that one was really good and one was not as good. I watched the one that people said was really good. It's on the tip of my tongue. Was right it real here. depressing? I remember it was more kind of celebrating. It's like, well, it had the stuff where it's like these people were, you know, socially awkward or whatever, but they're like, this that is the one like time. Monster Camp. That might have been it. Okay. It's the one where they got to go out and they got to have a really good time and meet like minded folks or whatever. And it seemed like they were really enjoying it. This is driving me crazy. What dark Is it Dark on? Dark on. That's the depressing I want to say it was Monster Camp. Monster okay. Camp is the fun one. Dark okay. Hunt's the depressing one. Okay. okay, this one I remember being like, okay, they're having fun. You mean Check it out. Like, depressing because of the window into the people's lives? Um, more like the, that's it's kind of all they have. Well, that's what I mean. You kind of get that sense with Monster Camp, too, if I remember right. I just remember being shocked at how seriously they took it with like the numbers and like... You know, you're keeping all the HP in your head and arguing over, like, well, that lightning I mean, bolt would have done seven damage. Yeah, or, that's fine. It's crazy. It was just depressing when, like, things would go wrong and then that would, like, severely affect their moods, you know? Yeah. Some people seem to get way too into it. Yeah. And attached it's too much thing, like, to you it. You know, like, I think if people are getting ready for a big D&D &D game and everything goes bad, they've put all this time to, like, I bought all these chips and then... You know, the, the game ends early and then they're bummed out. So why can't you just restart it? I don't know, because you play like the campaign a certain way. And, you know, but if you're playing Risk and like a cat runs across well, the board and knocks your shit yeah, out, like, like, If you're playing D&D &D in a serious fashion, then when your characters are dead, they're fucking dead. I've yeah, never died okay. in D&D, &D, so I'll come back. So that's exactly... So Richard the Horseman's doing you know, fine. Also, also, a game of Risk is like, what, five hours or something? Fuck that. That's pretty long. Start over. I'm saying, or shorter, you know what I mean? Like, people Wait, play, is Risk short by comparison? Dude, yeah. people play the same D&D &D campaign for oh. like a year. That's so crazy. In or some cases. Something. But I mean, can't you, if everyone dies, what's stopping you from just being like, all right, let's act like that didn't happen, we'll erase that. I, that's right. like, I don't know, that's not really... Once, I, I feel like once, once you, yeah, once, once you've fucking <clears throat> taken to erasing bad shit that, that has happened, then why are you playing at all? I guess. If there are no stakes, then what are you doing except, like, telling dumb fantasy stories yeah. about, like, yeah. I'm gonna hit it with an axe! I mean, Let's that's like roll the dice. That's, that's like, like saying if you stuff. die in Mario Three in World t Three, that like, oh, why doesn't the the cartridge eject and set on fire? Yeah, so, yeah why doesn't? How fucking awesome would that be? Video games have rules, man. You run out of lives, you got to start over. D and D should have rules too. Yeah, it works. In video games, you just get back on that horse. I mean, if you want, like, maybe you could, like, at some point, like, it gets like down to some deeper level of some kind of nerddom, but. You know, I guess you could run your campaign where, like, hey, when we're not in an encounter, let's save the game. And then the DM agrees to let you restart from that position at some point, which at that point, everyone should just cut their own throats yeah. and end it right there. That because, Jesus Christ, play a video game That's instead if you're going to do that route. If you're going to play D&D, &D, play D&D. &D. Yep. I'm with you. Roll the fucking dice. Yep. <laughs> All right. What's going on, Drew? Go on, that's Armor 3. I'm, yep, that's Armor 3. All right. That one, I mean, that's a pizza, that's but Aridane, that was that's, Armor 3. That, that is Aridanus right there, the <laughs> pizza. Somebody that was in this office like two weeks ago looked at that thing and said, is that chocolate? So I keep seeing that now. Whoever whoever has said that in the past was not alone in that. I mean, isn't it just pizza sauce? Well, that it looks like right a there. table. I think it's the bottom of a pan. Yeah, it's a pan. It's like a cast iron pan. Okay. But... So that pizza's okay. All right, all right. The first pizza, all when I'm you saying first is, look at it, the pizza looks real thick. Yeah, and that yeah. looks like it's part of the pizza. Well, yeah, I guess so. To me, well, maybe I was looking at it wrong. Can you go back? Yeah, let's see it again. <sighs> we really need to get I some wallpaper. Really thick. Okay, yeah, you're right. That's just a regular ass pizza. That's yeah. a pretty thick pizza. I mean, yeah, it's like not fucking. It's like pan crust. That looks extra cheese. That looks like some really good. But there cheese you see right the there. surface. Like that's that's not part of the pizza. No. I thought that would be like a. Anyway. Oh, you thought it was like a layer of the, the pizza? Yeah, it's like in the Dairy Queen ice cream cakes where it's got that one in the middle and then mm -hmm. more ice cream? 
The point is, the first time somebody said, is that chocolate? I thought they were insane. But then more and more people have said that. I can see it. You don't want chocolate on a pizza. I mean, if you put chocolate down on your pan, would it make the pizza slide off more easily and mm. not get stuck stuck to the pan? Probably. So you just get pan. Uh, I would think the chocolate probably like burns. Chocolate at that flavored point, pan. Right? Yeah. You ever get that uh, Domino's pizza cookie thing? The Oreo pizza. Yeah, I yeah, don't like it that. Sucked. It was terrible. Yeah, I don't like Rich that. Rich Gallup brought that to my house when we were going to watch <laughs> WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a thing to do. <laughs> Treat your host that way. It's a bad scene. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. I don't know. Whatever. I was, I wouldn't recommend paying for it, but that's pizza. <coughs> Dan, these, yeah, you're up next. One of these days, my UPS segment is going to be, let's get a bunch of new wallpapers. So my thing is Jason's thing. Jason came in with the big Friday the 13th boner after the Mortal Kombat news. And oh. Terror Drone? Is that the name of it? Terror Drone. I'm going to play Terror, Terror Drone. Drone by Jason's request. I have not played this, so we'll see. Let me set this up. Originally, I thought it would be funny if I just played uh, Friday the 13th for the Commodore 64 again and pretended like that didn't two happen hours. last time it was Friday the 13th. But uh, oh God, it's, it's, was it like a month ago? That yeah. wasn't that long. Yeah, it was really? two months in a row. I think we have yeah, Friday missed. the 13th. Yeah. Well, we're, now, we're all fucked. Jerry, I'll let you back in. I can't get out over there. <laughs> nope, there's no escape. Oh, yeah, it's not blocked, that huh? way. Oh, I guess it was my dad that said it looked like chocolate. Mm. Huh. Okay, I saw the chat say that. Uh, Jason, I feel like I've heard of this, but I, I don't know that I've ever actually seen it. Really? Yeah. So this is a straight up um, fighting game with slashing our slasher movie characters like uh, Jason, uh, mm -hmm. Freddy, and it's fan made, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's interesting really that they're putting Jason into Mortal Kombat X because I thought the original plan was to have Freddy and Jason in nine. I think that they just, was they the original couldn't, plan. They couldn't get the deals done. So I guess they just, I don't know, like wrapped back around and said, screw it. Let's have they ever done one. those characters? Freddy yeah, was in uh, the they nine. had Freddy okay. in the nine. Right. Okay. Yeah, I don't really care up, too much like, about Jason being in, uh, in 10. I'll I tell just, you. Like, guest characters, I think, are kind of lame. Yeah. Uh, like, well, that one is Jason. I'll tell you what bummed me out was, I was out sick, but did I see that Johnny Cage and Sonya are in the game? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they put a trailer out. I thought the whole point was like, you know, let's push the timeline forward and have some kind no, of kind of new characters in here. They do. They they, they well, do have know. new Cassie characters. Cassie Cage. Yeah. Right, well, that's what I'm saying though. It's like uh, they Ca they also said we're going to see older versions of the old characters for sure. Uh, they, yeah, like and Johnny Cage looks crazy. Yeah, I mean I saw he's wearing like a trench coat or something. Right? Yeah, and his fatalities seem funny. That is pretty crazy. You're not wrong. It's like that, what are they? When Saved by the Bell went to the college years, they also made like a new class. It's just, it's just called Saved by the Bell, the new class, right? Yeah. So this is know. like if you mix the college years and the new class. It just feels together. a little bit like a cop out, you know? It's like they were afraid to make a game without Johnny Cage or something. Oh yeah, no, totally. They I did that before. Like Remember they did that? They killed Liu Kang yeah. in Deadly Alliance. All right, Dan, I'm going to hand you this controller here in a little bit. So we've got oh, story no. mode okay. versus uh, training and stuff. Uh, so the buttons on the left side, we're, we're talking about you know the face buttons. Yeah. X is punch, A is kick. Okay. And then the ones on the right, Y is like weak slash or weak weapon. And uh, strong weapon is B. Okay, so right. melee, yep. A and X, weapons, Y and B. Right. There we go. I want right. it. Yeah, this, 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 is, this is amazing. I've <laughs> seen this, this movie. It just awesome. keeps looping this over and over. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. I haven't seen any of these movies except for Evil Dead. So I think the most recent patch, they uh, they had to put it to where you cannot skip the intro because it would crash. So Great. this is currently unskippable until you get back into the menu. Who is the guy that had the guy that was in The Rock? The Rocket Man. The, the, Pick what? something before it loops around again. Uh, I can't. It's not doing anything. It's not doing anything? Nope. Let me try x better again. You moving around? Anything? I'm moving now. Okay. Moving the left oh, stick now. Look at those meters go. Woo! Yeah, nothing? Nope, I'm Better moving them. Oh, Jesus. We're going to close this and restart it. I mean, it's showing up over there. Interbrain. Interbrain. Do those logos look familiar? Did Enterbrain actually do have anything to do with this? I think it's an engine, actually. So, uh, um, Dong Dong Dammer never die. Yeah. It was run using that. One of them looked like the IDOS Fresh logo. Oh, you watch. The Rocket Man from The Rock. I don't know the actor's name. I what? swear it's him. What? Right? What? There! It's Leatherface. That's Candyman. Candyman? Yeah. That's there. the guy from The Rock. What's the Candyman's power? Candyman's he. power is uh, he'll come out. Have you ever seen uh, uh, Bloody Mary or heard that? Like you say Bloody Mary? What the hell? Uh, the drink. Candyman. Yeah, if you, if you say Candyman in the mirror Candyman. three times. Then... I'd do that right now and nobody would show up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why is this not working? 
I got one other thing to try. Can okay. Can moving? No. It's all right. Options, keyboard. This is going swimmingly. This is really, yeah. People should just put joystick support in their stuff. Yeah, I agree. Let's see. Oh, none of this stuff is mapped anymore. Uh oh. Let's see if we can't fix that. Um, I set up all of these earlier today. I like how the keys fall in and out of the application. It's pretty good. All right, we're going to do this. <coughs> That's up. We're going to nope. use a uh, stick instead of D pad. How about that? Okay. You don't even do anything? No. I think I can remember this. Oh, are you doing like a joy to key thing? Yep. So we have to go into. We don't have the high school. Yeah. There we go. Right. Evade? How do I evade? That's going to be on your X right pattern here that you're running? Yep. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan, but. Is that basically the like joy to key or something? Yep. It is a lot like joy to key. <clears throat> Same basic concept. Yeah. Weak weapon. Strong weapon is X. There we go. And you guys big horror movie guys? Nope. Eh, I am. I know you are. I like The Shining and I saw Jason X. That's about my entire horror movie history. Jason X, hell of a movie. Not bad. Is that the one in space? That's about Horizon. That's, no, that's, no, no, no. There's a Friday the oh, 13th Jason in space. X. Jason X is in space. Okay. Yeah. Never seen a Friday the 13th. Saw that Simpsons. All oh, right. Event Horizon's horror, right? Sci-fi yes. horror? It's a more of a thriller, isn't it? Uh, no, there's, mm -hmm. there's some there's scary stuff horror, going on. Straight-up yeah. demonic stuff. In yeah, there. the ship goes to hell. Well, it's just because just it, you know, it's not like a checkbox, like, has demonic stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dan, give it a shot. Nope. I can't skip this, right? Nope. Okay. I think I saw Scream 3. None of the other ones, though. Those are more parodies of yeah. horror movies than real horror movies. I, I saw one of the Sleepaway Camp movies and liked it. <laughs> Those are pretty great. Oh, hey. There we uh, go. Let's do story mode, and then I'll come back out and reconfigure. It's being weird, but we'll try it. You're being weird. Oh, this is great. Wow. The yeah, stick you have is to pick funky. one of the Jasons. What the fuck? Oh, boy. Oh, that's Wait. fucking Wait. awesome. We have to see all the sprites first. All right. Before you Maniac pick anything. Cop? What is that from? Maniac from Cop. Maniac oh. Cop. Wait, uh, don't not too fast. This, trust me, the stick is super funky. I'm trying. Reanimator. Herbert West. Jason Voorhees. I, Wait, what, what was that? Hellraiser. Pinhead from Hellraiser. Pumpkinhead? What the fuck is Pumpkinhead? He's from, from Pumpkinhead. 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 It's not a pumpkin. Um, all right. Do you want to use the D-pad instead? It'll take uh, me five seconds to set that up. Five seconds? Time me. I think you're at least three seconds in. I th I've, I'm on two, I think. Uh, I don't know how time works. Three. <laughs> three seconds. Okay, this is much better. Okay, <laughs> so we got... Oh, we got... What's it, Chucky? Yeah. He's got a feud with Rick Steiner, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's Jason. Okay, I think we've seen these now. Oh, there's a pumpkin. It's specifically Evil Dead 2, Ash. Right. All right, um, I'm going to be... Oh, you want me to be Jason, right? Tis the season, man. It was just announced today. Oh, it is Friday the 13th, isn't yeah. it? Oh, that's why they announced it today. Okay, that makes sense. Now it's all coming together. Yeah. Yes. So I, I planned on pitching this game for this Friday the 13th anyway. Like yeah, after yeah. We, we did it last time. And then I woke up this morning to the best news ever that Jason's coming to Mortal Kombat. So mm -hmm. I've had a spring in my step. All day long. This is, this is like crazy. really well made yeah. Yeah. so far. Like, I have a feeling we're going to get to the fight. You're going to be like, ah, yeah. fuck. It's all going to fall but, apart in about five seconds. But let's see how it goes. The sprites look better than I would expect them to. Oh, is there a little ghost guy? Nope, this still looks great. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, looks exactly like I want it to look. So, Dan, if you want to check out moves, I think if you hit start. Oh, ah! dude, this is ridiculous. Holy shit. Oh, he has Dolzim arms. This is incredible that somebody made this. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of moves. Yeah. Jesus. He's got supers and stuff and combo strings. Are there finishers? I don't long think so. Arm. Oh. What is that? Left, right? I can't tell what these damn buttons are. This is weird. 
What? Yes. Oh, that's so good. All right, Drew, I'm gonna let you back. What's that? You should you should map the second controller. We should just we should just play. You wanna do some verses? Yeah, let's play some verses. All right. You give me a minute here. We're gonna remap this guy. Good lord. I think he might still be able to play while this is going on. We'll just lose sound. Uh. No, because the keyboard, you know, like you're hitting keys on the keyboard, you're probably gotcha. gonna fuck up the oh. mapping if you keep hitting stuff. Yeah, this looks crazy. I remember seeing Mortal Kombat for the first time in the arcade and with the digitized actors and everything and thinking like, okay, well, we've, we've made it. These are real people. Like, you can't make video games look more real than real people. I thought that, like, graphics had completely peaked with the first Mortal Kombat. Yep, totally. They never got better. No. I mean, that's more Mortal real Kombat 2 was a really weird-looking game by comparison. I remember the first time I saw it, like, it... What are you talking about? Like, it... Because it looks better... Yes. But they did a lot of, like, fantastical <clears throat> stuff to, like, yeah. like the sprites sure. in the first game, like, uh, like look kind of fucked up because yeah. they look a little too real sure. in some spots, and the, the animation doesn't make sense, but, like, they they hybridized their approach, yeah, I think, with MK2 like a Like a hyper-real kind of look yeah. to it. Yeah, sure. There's stuff weird about, like, when Melina would take her mask off and stuff, like, her face looked all weird. Oh, so there was a mixture of God. everything looked real and digitized, but then this, like, weird cartoon face. Just never forget the day I was walking toward the spaceport on a Saturday morning, and there were so many people crammed into that arcade, they were, like, spilling out into the mall. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is going on in there? And they had an MK2 machine right in the front. And then my life changed. Yeah. I, were you not uh, the first one? That eh, was fine. Huh. I mean, you know, whatever. Like, yeah, like I played the first one a lot, and it, it was, was cool, a, but I, I was never a, great at it. It was a fun novelty. There just wasn't much depth or technique to it, really, you know? Yeah. Um, two played not so much like better. Two. Like, two was, was an actual fighting game. I, like, just stopped going to school a lot to play Mortal Kombat <laughs> 2 at the Pizza Hut. Yeah. I took to just, like, at some point I was just like, well, I'm just going to start printing out Facts of like like <laughs> unconfirmed fatalities sure. from the internet, and go try to verify if any of them are real or Man. not. I had to have a meeting with nuns at my Catholic school because when I saw Raiden's, Raiden's fatality for the first time, where he electrocutes the head from the first one and it blows uh -huh. up, I was sketching that in class with colored pencils and just blood squirting out everywhere, and a nun saw it. So I had to go into the principal's office with nuns, and they had to talk about how I was disturbed or whatever because I was drawing Mortal Kombat. Well, I mean, I mean, they're right for the wrong reasons, but... <laughs> Dan, you uh, can pick who you want. Is there be anyone? Yeah. I'm just going to be an old guy. Tall man? Tall, tall man. man. That's yeah. not a power. I'll be... He's uh, imposing. Uh, you should try being tall and say that. Yeah, sure. These oh, actual voice samples from Bruce Campbell. Look at this. Jason, you say you're good at fighting games. They play the Evo? Played, right? <clears throat> Whatever, Ash has got here. I wouldn't be surprised if there were some people in a hotel room somewhere playing this yeah. at three in the morning. Sure. Let's see. Well, that's working out great. Yep. I ain't gonna reload. I'll look at moves later. All right. Yeah, like if this game came out like right alongside Bloodstorm or something like that, oh, it wouldn't sure, be yeah. that night. You'd be like, fucking, all right, cool. Yeah. Whatever, another weird also ran MK ripoff, sure. Oh, Only it's got this weird license shit. Oh, oh. nice. Is that a command grab or what? This is a super. Ah. Oh god. Jeez. Yeah. So oh. so what are you doing, Dan? Just mashing buttons? No, that, man. Is that how you're my skills? Let the record show that I'm undefeated against Jason A. Striker at fighting games on Giant Bomb. I'm gonna retire after this, I think. Alright. So this is how we do it, okay. We need to play some more Dong Dong Never Die. It's yes. It's been a long time. Thank you, yeah. I wouldn't mind just watching that intro again. And I want to play some One Must Fall 2097 at some point, too. I've been thinking a lot about that. I played most of that alone. It wasn't, you know, it was like yeah. a two player PC game. Right. Like, you know, like. I don't even know how you'd hook up two controllers in that, in that day and age. Get two MIDI cards? Yeah, I don't right. think you could. I think it only supported yeah. one, and right. then you'd have to, the other player would have to use a keyboard ah. or something. <coughs> Plus, what was the controller of choice back then? Like a graphics gamepad? Yeah. Four buttons, man. You don't yes, need more than that. That's true. They even made Mortal Kombat work on a four button controller by combining high and low punch. Fuck that. I think your perfect record is uh, in jeopardy here. I uh, will see. I think you messed with my mapping. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> what are you hitting the... Evade. RB. Okay. I think we talked about that a while ago. Eh. Oh! Fuck that! This really is way better than it has any right to be. Yep. Oh shit. No! Oh. Oh. Damn it! Oh, oh that's that close, Dan. Uh, we had a good run, Let me give this a shot. Yeah. Get in there. So is it right bumper is evade? Right bumper yeah. is evade. It's like, is it like a KOF like sidestep? Yep, exactly. Kind of or thing? you can hit a punch and kick together, so oh. like CVS2. Okay. Yeah, do a, a D-pad for sure. Whatever. All right. Let's try the other Jason. What's the story of Pumpkinhead? What's going on in that movie? He's, uh... I don't remember. Back to block? Yep. Oh, that would have helped. Is that a bow and arrow? Oh, here we go. So, wait, Pinhead's from hell, right? I yeah. think. And what, he makes people solve puzzles or they go to hell or something? What's if, the story? Uh, they pick up the Lament configuration, that puzzle box. Oh, okay. And they figure it out, it summons him. This is... Weird, right? Wait, so what is I don't do? know if just Pinhead's a weird character, but he kept ta he would talk every time he got up. <laughs> like he was taunting or something. What happens when he shows up? You gotta pull up his uh, move list? Yeah. There you go. What are the buttons there? I can't even... It's like... So that's strong slash, uh, weak slash. So it looks like a uh, quarter circle back, but strong. Um, huh, all right. Yeah. They're mostly all fireball motions, from what I can tell. There we go. Is there a monster in pol Poltergeist, or is it just like some unseen specter? It's a Poltergeist. Yeah, but, it, but it's like... Oh, shit. Does somebody play the polar Poltergeist, or is it just uh, a bunch of spooky I don't, I don't cabinets shutting or whatever? I don't know. I've never seen it. You should have Jack Torrance with an axe. Shit. I can't do any of his stuff here. So what happens when Pinhead oh. shows up? Oh, oh, he sticks a bunch of uh, uh, chains in them and rips them apart. Typically. Wait, so why? Hang on. Why would you want to solve the box then? That's it's it's Pandora's box. Yeah, oh, so exactly. by opening it, you. Oh, 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 oh Pinhead okay. is. Do you know the other like centibytes or whatever they are, right? Right. Do you know it's going to do that when you get it, or is it just no, a good toy you get for Christmas and then? I think the someone decided out. they wanted to open it because they wanted to become all powerful and they thought that Pinhead would give it to them. Oh, uh, okay. Depends on which movie it was. Huh. I don't know. Oh, What's the 80s one? horror movies are so stupid. I saw some horror movie with Dennis Miller in a... Like, Bordello horror. of Blood. Bordello of Blood! That was oh, it. That, yeah. was a, that was a Tales from the Crypt movie, wasn't That's it? That's right, yeah. yes. I've seen that one. That movie fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I would. I wish Tales of Tales from the Crypt was on some streaming service. Yeah, I would love to watch that shit. Ooh, that stuff was so good slash bad. Did they make other Tales from the Crypt movies besides Bordello? I, I don't know about the movies, but I remember liking the TV or the HBO series quite a bit. Oh, nice. that Crypt Keeper oh, is real oh. hard, you know? <laughs> yeah. Were they all like self-contained stories? Yeah, they were yeah. like Twilight Zone style. Okay. Uh, wasn't Creep Show or something of the Tales in the... Maybe. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh dear. Well, Dust Till Dawn doesn't count as horror, does it? Uh... Kinda. Like camp horror, I guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just watched that movie for the first time like a year or two ago. Me too. I liked it. It's good. Yeah. It kind of like sort of ended abruptly. Ooh, yeah. Shit. I remember just the cast, like loving that. Like I thought Clooney and Hayek and even like Tarantino. Ooh, I usually shit. hate watching Tarantino act. Is that yeah. you? He seems so unnecessary right, like Django Unchained. What? Oh. Shit. Didn't know I was going to have to perform here. Uh, I will be Michael Myers. What guys, story? This game is pretty freaking cool. I don't know if Scream Guy really rates in this crowd. Be uh, Chucky. I bet he's super annoying, but it's like an odd oh, job. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's gonna suck. Dude, Chucky versus Tall Man. 
Fire. I'm a big Brad Dourif fan, so yeah, sure. Brad Dourif's great. You watch Deadwood? No. He's real good in Deadwood. I'm partially kidding, but he's a great actor. I love him in Deadwood. I mean, yeah. Wow, yeah, this guy he seems like a real pain in the ass. <laughs> Ooh. Brad Dourif was in Alien Resurrection? <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else. What the fuck? It's like he's got a nail gun? All right. Don't mind me, I'm just having a knife fight with a doll. <laughs> in a school. <laughs> this doll just headbutted you. <laughs> Punching him in the head. God damn it. Wait, what the fuck was that? <laughs> And whatever it almost was. How do you do that? Are the supers like just. It seems to be like two fireball motions, yeah. and then I was using the strong slash, so B. Yeah! Oh my goodness. Some, some block of shit there. <laughs> God damn it. Oh! Get it! This is super dumb. God! I love it. Fuck. He always does this. <laughs> yep. God damn it. It works. in the face and tell your dad. Get me in the corner and then I can't get out. It's a true Michael Myers move. <laughs> That's how he kills people in Halloween? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen it. I haven't either. I like the part two, the revenge, like for yeah, the round yeah. number. That's yeah. clever. So I'm sure like Dong Dong never die fashion. You have to go back in to change the stages. Oh, great. Yeah. What is Dong Dong never die? Oh, you're not ready it's to fight that game. question. Yeah. I like the name of that game. That's funny. What, what is it? It's, it's, a, it's a fighting game a lot like this. So fan made stuff. Uh, but they digitize a bunch of their friends, I guess, and just put this game together. Super they like, ridiculous. They like lift the, the intro of Terminator and... 2 for it. Yeah. What? It's ridiculous. It is so yeah. dumb. Mario's in it. I think. Why not? Uh, I'd love to see something like this with action movie heroes, but I don't know if a fighting game is the right way to do that. Yeah, I don't think so either. This has actually always been like my dream game. <laughs> of course, I always wanted to play a little bit better, <clears throat> but. How much would you love it if like NetherRealm like made a licensed thing with all these all like, properties? This would, this could oh, never yeah. happen though. Like the licensing is just I know, fucking I know. impossible. Yeah, so yeah. Who wants to? I'll get in. You want it? What's Go the rotation? Sure. I forget. Yeah, I know it couldn't happen, but that's why it's awesome that this exists. What could happen is a WWE Immortals version. Wait, what did they make this one? I forgot the name of the engine, but it seems to be the same one that Dong Dong yeah. Never Die was based on. Huh. I'm just going to be the tall guy. Any idea who wrought this? Uh, a couple dudes, actually. Yeah, there's a handful. I don't know their names that I've had. Um, but they've been just kind of periodically putting out updates. Like right now, if you go to the website, it's down. Like it's been suspended. So uh, you should try and find this game on like Facebook. You should find some links. So, oh yeah. my god! Man, Tall Man's a badass. He really is. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. This is fucking awesome. That's the, yeah. Like it looks nice. Like yeah. the character. This is, like this is. Yeah. I think yeah. the backgrounds look a little janky in spots. Oh sure. Oh yeah. We got to change out the the background. I was gonna say I haven't seen many. What are the little icons next to our faces? We check two. Round numbers. Oh. No. Wait. Is it? Yeah. Like wait. you've got uh, beads by Candyman and. No, but the round numbers are the skulls up top. The skulls up top are the round numbers. Yeah, but what are the little ones down there? Like the beads. Yeah. No. Would be like special uses or something? Probably. <clears throat> what do you say with the supers? Um, I've had success with uh, double fireball forward with B. Okay. It might be different, but. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> yeah! Damn.
Okay. It's true. I believe it. What's up with Candy Man? He's got a hook for a hand, is that it? He's got a hook for a hand, yeah. He was, uh... And he just shows up when you say his name? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what is special There's some about him. revenge involved. Oh yeah, he was like a former prisoner or something, right? Yep. I think he fell in love with uh, a fancy white lady. Some racist assholes didn't take to that very well. But in long. terms of ways he slices you up, it's just a hook, right? Yep. Uh, he has a knife in the rock. Oh! Nope. That was cool. I don't know shit about Phantasm. I don't even know if I've ever heard of that movie. Yeah, I don't remember too much about that either, other than, you know, I feel like that's one of those things like guy. Phantasm 3 is on HBO on a right. Sunday yeah. afternoon. <laughs> right. <laughs> no! <laughs> shit. Oh, that's cool. Man. You will become legend. Yes, you will. Check out a different background. Yeah, all right. Should we go to Crystal Lake? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Did he do that one already? And I want to say we have to restart the game. Let's <laughs> let's try Oops, this. I actually like picked Candyman again. Oh, whatever. I'm, I'm down with Candyman. I got that it. dude's all right. I'll give it back. There we go. Maining Candyman officially now. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Leatherface. Okay. Whoa. Three ten a.m. <laughs> this thing needs stage finishers. Yeah, yeah. totally. Oof. Oh, shit. I hated that you had to have a separate like input for every character for stage finishers. I like the pit in the first one. Just fucking uppercut the guy who's going into the pit. No oh, shit. Hey, uh, even, this, even this background kind of looks all right. Yeah. No oh, shit. Oh my god. That's fucking cool. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Jason, are you Chainsaw Man? Am I a Chainsaw Man? Yeah. Yes, or I'm Chainsaw face? Man. Mm. I'm trying to look for like wake up moves, but oh shit, that looks dangerous. There, you used one, so now he only has one bear trap up there. Oh, okay. So I guess he had placeables or something. Yeah, how did I? I don't even know how I did that. Okay. Can you imagine if NetherRealm did do this, like all the stuff they do with the environmental, like injustice style things? Yeah. You just um, spit bees at me, which is pretty cool. No! No! Shh, fuck. That's, that's a lot of bees. I killed you with bees. Which, yeah, that, that was my, like, limited use oh, okay. item for my bees. Bees aren't candy. Bees make honey, which is kind of like candy. That's true. Like Matrix candy. You ever put honey on a peanut butter sandwich? Hell yeah. Real good. Peanut butter and oh, honey shit. sandwich? You ever put bananas on there too? Uh, yeah, like crazy? No, I don't think I'd go that far. Pretty good. Although I would uh, <clears throat> I would basically put thin layer of peanut butter on both pieces of bread because when the honey soaked into the bread, it got all nasty and hard. Oh, okay. Do you ever do a peanut butter on a burger? Eh, it's I mean, surprisingly I could, surprisingly good. I can see the appeal, but. It's good. I think I'm blocking. Peanut butter's the yep. best. That's awesome. Brad, here's a stupid thing I'm gonna recommend that I swear to God is really good. All right. If you're ever at a party with a oh. big bowl of nacho cheese, and there's also Oreos, dip the Oreos in the nacho cheese. I swear to God, I've convinced so many people to do this, and 100% have been like, I'm nice. shocked to admit this, but this is actually really good. It's really not where I thought you were going with that. It sounds terrible. That sounds terrible. It's really good. That sounds terrible. Oreos I don't and think hot I nacho cheese. I Brad, you up. Dude, I don't know about Brad, that. I, Anybody at home, like, let me know if you try like, it. I swear to God, it's good. Peanut butter on a burger, sure, I'll give that a shot, but I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I don't want peanut butter on a burger. It's, it's good. good. It's good. I, I'm sure it's so really I, like, I love peanut butter. I mean, you know, it's just, just like, just like, just like chicken like, yeah, satay, right. you know, like, like peanut butter on meat is, is a thing. 
So but down in Atlanta, there's the a restaurant called Vortex, and so. they have this Elvis burger, which is a normal burger. Got ooh, peanut ooh. butter, banana, mm. yeah. bacon. It's fantastic. Who have we not seen? I always knew what was going on with food. Oh, yeah, did you change the background? Oh, let me do that. What do you guys want to see? Uh, what is there? There we go. S Mart. Anime, Evil Dead. Yeah, I want to see the Evil Dead background. Yeah. There's a couple of them. There's Evil Dead and S Mart. Okay. Oh, cabin. it's the cabin. Okay. Pumpkin head just looks like a shitty xenomorph. Yep. Yeah, kind of. Oh, ooh, that's nice. It's like primal rage over here. <laughs> Jesus, hail whips. I never got into primal rage. It's because it sucks. Just threw a stick at him. <laughs> Yeah. Like, there's a good reason you didn't get into it. It's it a fucking like terrible game. I was like an 11-year-old. Like, I, I like a lot of dumb shit. Terrible. You still do. <laughs> it's true. I was more susceptible to dumb shit back then, and I still didn't like Primal Rage. Except for wasn't there a thing where you could pee on a guy? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't like that. Man, is, is he the boss or something? Like, I, just, I have <laughs> trouble like getting reach, in on him. Reach on this guy is ridiculous. Oh! Yeah! I remember, Jeff, was it Trilogy where you could like play as Motaro? Yeah, Trilogy had stupid. all kinds of fucking... Trilogy felt like a ROM hack. <laughs> Wait, what like, it was kind of cool, oh, did I Did I just fail to capitalize on whatever I did? I think so. It looked like, like a command grab? Yeah, it seemed like I needed to fall out of something, and I don't know what it was. Did they give Motaro and stuff like fatalities in Trilogy? They might have given him brutalities or something, but not... I forget. Oh! Oh! Fuck. Oh! Oh. I seem to remember Kentaro having one where you just like <laughs> punched your torso down into like Look at you just guy. had leg stumps. Yeah. Look at that broken head. Utterly fascinated by this. Nope. They've been continually adding new characters. Like I know Pumpkinhead really? and yeah, and Pinhead have been recently released. And... So how does the law work? As long as you're not making money off of something, you can just do whatever the fuck you want with I any uh, intellectual property. I think even no, that means like if, like if at any point these people could be served with legal papers yeah. saying they don't make the thing, even though they're not making money. Right. Well, yeah. then how is like a Bobo's Big Adventure? They get money. It's not legal for them to do that. You know, yeah. Who knows, like, who who even owns, like, the trademark for that at this point? Yeah. Right. Yeah. But, I mean, I no, Bobo's Big Adventure has, like, every NES character ever in it. Oh, like, yeah. So there's Nintendo stuff all over Capcom stuff. that fall under, like, a parody style? That's what I wonder. What do yeah. I do? What do I do? Oh, there's, yeah. I think that oh. there, I mean, there's some allowances for parody, but, like... Yeah. You know, you'd have to draw your own stuff and say, true. You know, hey, it's sort of Wario, Wario like or something. But uh, well, then the Wayans kept making those scary was, movies yeah, or yeah, whatever the uh, hell. Yeah. Yep. Play, play Jason. Right, no, well, okay. The okay. scary oh. movies and stuff were never like officially yeah. using like, hey, here's the mask from Scream. Like right, scary like movies ripping were, sprites out of things and putting it in there. Like you know, it's yeah. not. Like Freddy Krueger did not show up in a scary movie. Mm. Background. Before I go. Oh yeah, yeah. And in some cases, companies feel like legally obligated mm. to chase st that stuff down and stop it, even if it doesn't Smart. like impact their business. Because if they don't de like vigorously defend their copyrights, then when someone comes along and does actually nefarious shit with their stuff, yeah. it, it can become harder to defend because they can go, "Well, you looked the other way when this happened." Like, right. That's my understanding oh. of it, anyway. I... Hmm. You guys want some chocolate? Oh, I'm good. How do you throw? Not us the dodge. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know how I just did that. Oh, but... oh. Okay. This is so stupid. I love it. Oh, God. Is he the only character that's not like the antagonist of the film? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, maybe. It's because they're the roster, yeah. Yeah, there, there kind of isn't really an antagonist of those movies. Right. Damn it. 
they should just like put some of the kids from the Nightmare on Elm Street movies in here. Put Nancy in or something. The Dream Master. Yes. Dokken. Yeah. Just put Dokken in it. Remember Freddy's Dead? Dream Warriors? Nope. Remember when they supposedly killed Freddy Krueger? Because it wasn't that all of them? That yeah, but they like... Them. Remember the marketing blitz around that? Yeah, I guess I... Is that the one that had the power it? glove in it? I think what? so. I think that was the one. I don't know, at some point I stopped. I, just, yeah, I, I, I didn't go see a lot of that stuff. Cause... I like a new nightmare an awful lot, actually. <clears throat> Wasn't that was the one that was like, like Wes Craven was actually a character in the movie and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Like they were making the movie. It was like it was like movie within a movie type. Was Robert England in it? Or? Yeah, uh, he played himself. Thanks. So. Yeah, <laughs> played himself, but not himself Freddy. playing Freddy Krueger. Yeah. Okay. Well, so what was the plot then? Like, did real Freddy Krueger come out of the script or something? Exactly. That's. I, I feel like I need to see that now. I wonder if that's on Netflix. I'm gonna go find out. Isn't that like a new one with uh, Jackie Wendt? Yeah, the, uh, uh, Jackie Earl Haley, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I still haven't seen that one. Sounds like it was alright, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's really I don't know. Are right. Rob Zombie Halloween's any good? Yeah, uh, the, I don't know. Well, alright. So, no. <laughs> like, the, the released ones are not good. I like the work print an awful lot. <laughs> I know that's getting super nerdy, but... It, the work print? The work print, yeah. The one that was, like, like released to studios. Like, once it got edited, it, final, it, yeah. they edited all the fun out. Yep. So it's like the Punisher game before they made all the kills black and white. Yeah. Okay. This is my sure, that's what you get him to say there. Yeah. It's a nice, clean voice sample. I want to do that to you so bad. I'm okay. trying to think, what's the... Um, all right, fine. Let's do it. There. Yes. All right. I hope you remember I did this for you. There you go. Rob Zombie's not a bad movie maker. Yeah, yeah it sounds, really I've, I've never yeah. seen his stuff, but it seems like people like him. He also seems like a cool dude. Yeah, yeah he's seen interviews. Uh, he's yeah, seems like he's probably him. all right. He's a big film buff. He seems like a cool guy. Like Skinner or what? Ah. Mm. There's that one white zombie song. Oh, there's more human than human. Yes, that's the one. You know, the one that, wasn't the one that, that was in all the video games. Yeah, Thunder Kiss was the the Thunder Kiss 65 was the one in Way of the Warrior. Or that whole album was in oh, Way of the Warrior. Yeah. God, I, just, I totally forgot about that. That was the first time I'd ever heard of Rob's of uh, White Zombie. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. oh yeah. Yeah, I feel like we're missing a lot of moves that oh, we're yeah. gonna be doing here. Well, we can take Super Epic. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Super Punch. Teleports, helper slime. Yeah, I'm gonna be spending some time with this, I think. But not right now. Ah! What was that random voice sample coming out? Yeah, I know, weird, right? What a weird thing. <sighs> all right, all right. Are we done with this, or do we play one more? One more. I want to see a different stage. All right. Uh, Who wants it? Uh, 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 eat chocolate. Yeah. Cute house. Rea Ooh, reanimator. Yeah? Yeah. Sure. Yes. I will be the reanimator. <laughs> uh, wait. Oh, I'm Pumpkinhead. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'd fuck. All right. I thought I was player one. Oh. Okay, that was fun. Is the reanimator like an ambulance man with the. See, like, do the shock stuff for the heart? Ambulance man? No. No. It's a doctor. <laughs> it's a doctor? Yeah. Oh. Wait. I'm a doctor, don't you? Oh, yeah, I guess right. I do it. There doctor, do. man. Oh, shit. What would happen if you got those things on your chest when you weren't, like, half dead? Nothing, I don't think. I don't well, if you believe Battlefield, it'll kill you. Oh, that's true. If you get defibrillated. Depends on what the blood is. When so you guess. don't need a defibrillator. Pum pumpkin head sucks. Yeah, he does. Is there, like, a fast way back to character select? I can do it. Because I'm not having a great time playing as pumpkin head here. And unfortunately, there is not a fast way. We can kill the game if you want. Nah, it's fine. All right. Really 
No. Yeah. Nah, I'm alright. I'll take it. Alright, target. Ooh, whoa, God. Throw a fucking stick at me, you prick. Did people hate Prometheus? A lot of people hate Prometheus. I yes. remember seeing it. I don't remember a whole lot about it, but I remember like leaving and being like, yeah, it was cool. I, I don't hate right. Prometheus. I'm with you. Nope. Like, I think it's the best movie I've ever seen or anything. But, no, but, but I remember was, enjoying it. It was tolerable. I think a lot of people got really invested in the idea of it, like, like resurrecting the alien mythology. Are really adding a lot to it. Yeah, I remember all the talk about like, oh, are they going to show the what space jockey or whatever the right, elephant right. in a chair or whatever yeah. the fuck that Shit. was? I think I think that game or game I think that movie was a victim of, of the expectations to a large degree. Yeah, I think we came out with that beneath tie to Alien. People would just be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a good space movie. Because people really like Alien. It's good. I mean, I really like Alien, but I don't know. Mm -mm. Like, not like in Prometheus doesn't take away from the original Alien or anything like that. To me. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. I like this music. That's some real good, good cheesy horror movie music. Is there some story behind, like, Patrick wrote Evil Bong or something? Yeah, he wrote... Oh, how did that happen? The concept. Well, he wrote the concept for Evil Bong 3. They didn't actually write the screenplay, did he? Wait, just three think. specifically? Yeah, yeah. three. Like, what's what the, the concept? Bond? Like, what? It's, it's an Evil Bong, right? <laughs> it's a... Oh, well, no, because... No, I think, I, think, I think Evil Bong is the hero of Evil Bong 3, right? Okay. I think it had previously so been... Sounds like the Terminator 2 of I Evil Bong. I think it had been the, the villain, but then there was, like, some other, like... Eviler bong. There was like an alien bong. I think the crowd. Oh, no, I think you're right. There and then an evil bong, bong had to like sound familiar had to basically like like nut up and become the good guy. <laughs> nut up. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah it's yeah, like all right. Humanity. There's, there's like a the worse. Bigger... There's now a worse bong in play. Right. Like I've I've got to I've got to do the right thing here. Something like that. I don't know. How did he? But you he, should ask Patrick. He doesn't have like a Hollywood background, does he? I'm just. I'm they, fascinated. They with... had a contest. He, does, he, does he had a contest. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. He's got an IMDb page and everything. That's awesome. He's got, a, he's got a story credit on that thing. Oh, wow. Did he, ever, did he go to the set? I can't uh, remember. That's great. Or did they, I think maybe oh. they just made the movie. He also proposed to his wife at the, what was it, the premiere of the movie? Yeah, the premiere, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, Pumpkinhead sucks. I mean, I, I don't know. He's, he's, got, he's pretty got pretty good reach <laughs> and stuff. I mean, I, I don't think it's fun to fight as or against Pumpkinhead no, right no. now. But No, he super sucks. Yeah. Uh, anyway, but this is something guys. they're still updating? Uh, I guess so, yeah. They're on version 2.99, so you'd think oh. something else has got to come. But yeah. hmm. uh, as I said, yeah, the website's down. I don't know where they're at with it, but cool. uh, fingers crossed. Man. I can't wait for version 666. Yeah, 1.666. Yep. Thank you guys for indulging me. Yeah, cool. Yeah, this was pretty awesome. Yeah. All right, well, uh, also in honor of Friday the 13th. No, uh, <laughs> I brought my links in. <laughs> I mean... Atari Lynx. I mean, it is the devil's own handheld. It is. It's true. Um, and uh, Brad, you had said you wanted to see some Lynx games. Yeah, I was curious. Point, not that long ago. I don't think so. I've ever seen games running on a Lynx before. Yeah, so I was I was uh, cleaning up and uh, found a bunch of weird handheld shit, including yeah. my Lynx. Couldn't find the power adapter for it. Mm. So this is actually maybe the first time I've ever put batteries in it. Well, how many batteries? Six double A's. And mm. that'll probably last like three hours or something. <laughs> but Sounds about right. Um... So we've got a camera behind me here to pick up this shot uh, of it. Here, let's get it, get it. There you go. Positioned properly, and we'll fire it up, and it won't work because that's cool. Yeah. There we go. California Games. Uh, this was the no. Well, I guess actually this wasn't the back end, was it? Mm, I don't remember. Was, well, what was the? Well, that's the second Lynx, right? Yeah, this is Lynx Two. Okay. The original Lynx was wider, and isn't the first Lynx like twice as yeah, long as that crazy. thing or something? Uh, it's kind of hard to get. <clears throat> Jason, is it possible to put that feed out to the, one of the TVs? Get the right level of brightness too, so we can see the action without a whole lot of glare here. Uh, Either way. 
Yeah. This is a pretty good version of California Games. It doesn't have all of the uh, events in it, but it's a pretty good version of BMX. There's a lot of buttons on that thing. So the Lynx was designed to be played upside down for left-handed players. Huh. Oh, wow. So they mirror the two action buttons. Oh, that's why there are four buttons. Yeah. Okay. Weird. Interesting. You just hit that flip button whenever you want? Uh, yeah, you have to hit... Uh, what is it? Okay, so we paused it here, and then I think if I hit... Those two, then you oh see it flips upside down. Well, sure Whoa. enough. Yeah. Is anybody here left-handed? I am. Yeah, he is. Do you notice any weirdness? That's, I would never do that. That's the, yeah, because <laughs> because like every other like game every other game, you get used you to, to like this right. sort of playing. Or, right. Do you have your mouse on the left side of your keyboard? No, that's insane. I could, I could I could kind of see an argument for like having your dominant hand on the D-pad anyway. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like that a lot makes of games sense. like you got to do more like precision stuff with the D-pad than you do buttons. I feel like moving a right stick around doesn't feel weird. Mm, yeah. Oh. We biffed it pretty hard right there. I only have 41 <laughs> points. Oh, jeez. It has been a long time since I've played. Uh, it's like a paperboy obstacle course. Uh, Mind if I. No, go ahead and start digging through here. If you could uh, wipe the contacts on your shirt to clean them up a little bit, <laughs> that would be uh, maybe a time saver. Oh, this is a lot of games. Yeah, I think I want to say there's like 150, 200 uh -huh. games for the Lynx. Oh, hit that hay bale. Jeff, do you own a game.com? I do. You do? It sucks. What about an Engage? Yeah, yeah, I have like a like lot all of the Engages. Engages. I have an Engage QD. I've got lots of. Uh... Really? All right, I just kind of want to like. Were you supposed to be able to play actual multiplayer online with the game.com? Yes, it had a modem and there was a, like a. Terminal with like a web browser, like a there's like a, a terminal program for it. I think. Did you ever you, use it for that? Or you I tried it once and saw that it worked and went like, that's a <laughs> no one would ever. Got it. The perfect Lynx game stack. Yeah, like yeah. The way Lynx games stack, stack it up is really cool. weird way. <laughs> Can you alternate them? And it yeah, maybe. Pac-Man. I seem to remember seeing some like Batman Forever game or something getting advertised all the time. It sucked. Lynx. Yeah? That was a shitty game. <laughs> Any games that didn't suck for this? Uh, California game is good. Chip's Challenge is great. Gauntlet. Uh, Gauntlet is super weird. Um, it was like eight player. You could you could link a bunch of Lynxes together. Right. Oh, uh, you got your Shanghai, of course. Yeah, Shanghai is weird. Good. Shadow of the Beast. Yeah, Shadow of the Beast came out on that. Uh, Toki. Dracula the Undead. That's just a weird, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Dirty Larry. <laughs> Renegade Cop. <laughs> Is Dirty Larry any good? Not not really. I don't know. There's Toki. Oh. Power Factor. Oh, Pit Fighter. Oh. Pit Fighter. I think Pit Fighter makes you use the option keys or something because it's... Oh, what is this version of Rygar? Uh, it's it's the, it's the arcade, it's the arcade version? version. Weird. It's what not the that? NES version. Oh, Blue, Blue Lightning was the one that yeah, I always Blue saw. Blue Lightning, I think, was the pack end. Advertised. Why don't you give me Blue Lightning? We'll try a little bit. What of is Unolympics? Is that Unolympics? Dino Olympics. Oh, Dino Olympics. Dino Olympics. Olympics. Yeah. yeah. Say, is it is that like caveman Olympics? games? Here's Blue Lightning. He's a little Rope. thin ass. Let's see if it works. Sometimes it takes a couple seconds to boot up. Nope. That. Just shut right off. Are these all are all these games from like when they came out, or did yeah. you build this collection over time? Yeah, no, this is all stuff I just had then. I did not go out of my way to acquire more Lynx games <laughs> after the fact. Well, you don't want to build a full set? N no, not not especially. So Epics designed the Lynx. Huh. The company that made California games okay. and Impossible Mission and a lot of great Commodore 64 stuff. Huh. Uh, that 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 team I think designed this handheld and then sold it to Atari. Weird. Uh. A hell of a title screen. Oh, shit! <laughs> Great. <laughs> I can turn off the backlight, and then the screen oh, just goes completely dark. All right, let's... <laughs> they interest you in, uh, I don't know, Rygar? Let's uh, try this one more time. There we go. Well...
Look at that. That's pretty cool. Steven Landrum. Remember Arthur. when this thing came out? This was 89. Ain't it really? Yeah. So this was fucking amazing for a handheld in 89, It right? really was. Oh, wow. Compared, 89, yeah. Compared to, compared to like, a, like the Game Boy was only like a year or two old at that point, right? Yeah, this yeah. It's pre-Game Gear, right? Uh, game Gear would have been right around yeah, 1991, right? So, yeah. I mean, this game was copyright 89. Okay. So. I mean, Game Boy came out in like, what, 88? I just remember that it being such a big right. deal that Game Gear had color. I can't yeah. imagine, and Game Gear looked way shittier than this. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is this is like legitimately Gear. a cool system. It's just, it didn't get a lot of games, and a lot of the games that came out on it sort of sucked. But like, it's a neat thing. When this came out, Atari was real ass Atari, right? Uh, I think. yeah. Or it was definitely pre-Infogrom, so. Yes, yeah, yeah, definitely. That was like Dreamcast era okay. or something okay. that, that that happened. So it's kind of a, you know, afterburnery sort of thing. We're shooting jets. <laughs> How about if I hit option two, I can do sick rolls. Dino Olympics. Electro cop any good? I mean, let's run through some stuff. We don't have to run through everything, but you know, like here's electro cop, here's electro cop. <laughs> Let me answer your question. No, electric cop is not true. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I love that font. Yeah. Where did Dino Olympics go? Insert game. I'm, I'm working on it. I can't find Dino Olympics. It's First, there. I'm going to rub there the game is. on my yeah. shirt. Rub game. Rub game. <laughs> Generate a lot of static down here, so it fries the links when I put the game in. You get a cleaner at Funko Land. Do you have an, uh, Do you have a Lynx One? I do. I don't know where it is, mm. but I do have one. Yeah. Somebody at PAX came up to me after the panel and said he had one. He was going to send me. Huh? Like those things are like. I I've never seen one in person. They're but really looking, long. They're looking, like it's, it's like it's. Looking at the magazine, I always thought that the thing was like two feet long yeah, or something it's not, insane it's not like two that. Two feet long, but it's you know. It just looked like such a gangly, weird. I don't know. I always wanted the Nomad. That seemed pretty cool. Yeah. Well, it's a cool idea, like portable Genesis games, yeah. but the, the battery life on it was just so much. Like 45 stupid. minutes or something. I mean, <laughs> I, I always played my Game Gear just plugged into the wall because mm. the battery sucks so much. Well, and at that point, like, why wouldn't you just play your Genesis games on a goddamn TV? Yeah. Man. Lynx developers all about getting their names in the credits. Oh, yeah. And Arthur Koch was in the last one, too. I just want to like, search all these names on Twitter and see if they're still around. This is just like, this is just like 90% of Lynx games were developed by Epix or something? Yeah, pretty much. June 2069, Washington, D.C. You're a cop. You are summoned to the offices of Megacorp, the world's largest corporation. Your boss orders you to do whatever Megacorp wants. You're a cop. They tell you that an evil robot has kidnapped the president's daughter, stolen some very important government secrets, and now is hiding in an old megacorp research and development building. The robot believes it's safe because it thinks it's the only one that has the network plugs for the building. Megacorp knows better. Megacorp knows that you have a set of plugs too. Megacorp wants you to find and destroy the robot. It's getting strangely elaborate. Plugs. Why you? Because you're Electro Cop, the best there is. Your robotics body is a powerful, fine-tuned machine. Your analog computer brain is the best money can buy. Your network plugs allow you access to any computer in the world. Though the other robot has probably scrambled the combinations, your programs can unscramble all the locks and get through any door. But who is this other robot? Why have you never heard of it before? Why did it kidnap the president's daughter? And why won't Megacorp tell you anything about the stolen secrets? Something stinks about this whole deal. And you're determined to find out what. Oh, it just keeps going. They believe that the robot is hiding <laughs> on level five. You have one hour to succeed or die. Whoa. Good luck. Why die? I mean, I, it's like I'm still Electro Cop after an hour, it's right? It's true, you'd think. Oh boy, that camera's in tight. Uh, 
Oh. What? It's like a Sonic 3 bonus stage. Are you in the computer? Sure. what computers look like, Brad. You built them. This entire building is made out of computer. Probably has really fast internet. It's true. Like, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> like, the, the the amount of, like, Z-plane, like, this this movement, this up and down movement. What are these weird, like, techno ostriches that you're fighting? Ah, <laughs> oh, whatever. I, this looked, I bet this was fucking mind-blowing in 1990 or whatever. This is, like, a real-time hour, like, an hour-long game. Looks like it. You have 59 minutes. Network plugs. Information on robots, walkers, yellow jacket. Fast walker with light armor causes damage by contact. I'd like to point out that the timer has not stopped. The red disruptor. Nope. That... Games, alright. What the fuck? A bunch of like. WarioWare games inside the computer? I mean, it's a computer. Why shouldn't you be able to play games on a computer, right? Yes, that's true, yeah. Letter puzzle. Oh, I hate these. There's nothing yeah. I hate I hate more than these puzzles things. a lot. That's... Super Squeak. Super Squeak's all right. Yeah. You win, big deal. <laughs> Outbreak. Oh, you oh, mean Breakout. Uh, yeah. Get this cool soundtrack for uh, Breakout. Fuck you, Electro Pop. <laughs> Here, uh, oh shit, where did I put Dino Olympics? Oh, I gave, it, I gave it to you. For Dan's benefit. This is probably terrible. I'm looking forward to it. I love caveman games. This might actually be... No. I can't even get this thing to power up with this one stuck in there, because that's how dirty it is, or broken it is. You played it that much? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Damn it. Oh no! <laughs> yes. Yes! 1992. You think they had Olympics back in caveman days? Oh yeah. yeah. That's where the first Olympiad was, took place. Yeah? Yep. <laughs> well, this seems to Damn have it. the blue lightning issue. Good title for a game. Falsk fails. I got this copy of Shanghai here. Shanghai ain't I actually Dino played Olympics. a lot of Shanghai on the Lynx. I don't I can't, couldn't tell you why. Isn't that the same thing as Mahjong basically? Yeah. Well it's not it's the it's the tile matching one. Oh. It's like the single player puzzle thing, not not like poker mahjong or whatever, you know, whatever. How about road is. blasters? How about Road Blasters? Road Blasters. <clears throat> let's play it. Let's try Road Blasters. Great arcade game. It's great. Great art awesome on that music. thing too. Oh. I'll have to watch a Let's Play of Dino Olympics. Great. Show show the camera the cover of that thing. Just, oh, look at that. Yep. It's, it's just pretty... a car blasting the road. Yep. It's good. I'm weirded out by the label facing in. When you uh, yeah, in. Yes, I was also yeah, hundred percent with you on that. Like, yeah. yeah, but then you get this good tab you can just like yank it out of the system with. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Game Boy had the nice little like just ridge you could put your thumb in and just. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. I'm afraid our potential for road blasting is not looking high. Okay. It's like half a title screen. weird that it'll get here and then not continue, but multiple games have that in there, like, eh, it'll display this and then die. Yeah. It's like a weird power factor. Power factor is a bad shooter, if I remember correctly. There we go. Ooh. Looks like pole position, or outrun. <laughs> Ooh, 
start a level one. I don't want to so skip anything. It's going down in Bubble City. Oh. Blast that road! I'm blasting, I'm shooting these cars. And I'm blasting down the road. Well, I'm blasting on the road and blasting the road. It works on multiple levels is what I'm saying. <laughs> That lady talked. Oh, jeez. It's hard when you're turning to shoot. Shoot opponents for score. Shoot opponents for score. All right, that's that's Road Blasters. Uh, it was a cool arcade game. That's a decent port of it. Is this Switchblade 2? Or is that... Yeah, that is Switchblade 2. Made by Gremlin Graphics. It's a good name. It's any good? I don't think so, but I don't remember. I want to say Switchblade 2 is somehow related to one of those weird unofficial ports of Strider. I could be making that up. There's oh. something weird about Switchblade 2 that I'm not remembering right, but... Wait, they didn't put out Strider on this thing, did they? No. Hmm. Is it Giancarlo that collects like every kind of strider? Yep. Yeah. He has a sickness. Yeah. Did he like the new one? Oh, did he? Yeah, I kind of liked it. He, yeah, I liked it. it was good. I, I think he was kind of right there and saying like, yeah, yeah, it's cool, but not maybe not amazing. <laughs> isn't yeah. isn't he close to owning every version of strider ever made? I don't. I can't imagine he is. I mean, he was buying like weird like Japanese only yeah, disc, I think disc he has, versions. I think he has most of the hard ones. Right. Um, he does not have an arcade board yet. Are you sure? I think I'm pretty sure he didn't buy. Could have sworn he bought one. He bought like a VF2 board. That's or what something. it was, yes. With no way to play it. Yeah. Huh. What's up with this? Zero dollars. Oh, those are spikes. You have one dollar. You have two dollars. All right, we'll jump up over here, I guess. No music whatsoever. Who needs it? <laughs> da, 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 there you da. go. Now I've got a gun. Any requests? Uh, right. What do we have over there still? Oh gosh. Shadow of the Beast. Nah. Rygar. Nah. What the hell? Zarlor Mercenary. That game's interesting. Uh, why don't you, how about a little Chips Challenge? Power Crystal Factor. Mines. Here's Chips Challenge. Um, uh, Klax. Nah. Yeah, Klax just looks like Klax. Toki's always been a dumb game. I want to see what Dirty Larry looks like. Yeah, but then right. again, I feel I have a feeling that I don't. Yeah, let's see. Let's we'll just we'll quickly run through this stuff. Uh, is Pinball Jam over there? I don't see a pinball game. Who the any fuck kind is of Pinball here. Jam? <laughs> Who the fuck stole my copy of Pinball Jam? No one's leaving this room until <laughs> my copy of Pinball Jam is returned. All right, I don't know how to get up there. So. so, so Dracula the Undead, not worth our time. No, it's it's, 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 it's like a weird adventure game. It's, okay, so it's deeper lines. than most. Uh. Uh. All right, let's try Dirty Larry here real quick. Didn't they make Genesis and Super Nintendo versions of uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula? Yeah, uh, that sounds right. I think I remember seeing ads for that. Yeah, I think that's correct. Dun, 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 dun. I should have cleaned these ahead of time. Ultimately, mm. that's that's the true lesson here. Dirty Larry, Renegade Cop, 1992. <laughs> that's how he sleeps. Yep. <laughs> it's 
Oh, I sleep. No <laughs> trench coat on and everything. <laughs> no pants. Tie, gun, Steel no pants. Bird, everything USA. but the pants. I think his shoes were even still We on. join our hero at the office of his chief. I'm gonna start sleeping like that. <laughs> Getting yelled at. <laughs> Again. Oh. Saw that coming. Oh, he's cool. And darn it, Larry. That's the third car this week. You need to learn to respect police property. As of this moment, you walk or take the subway. Setting up this the game. The response time is going to be pretty game. bad. <laughs> Judge Smite just threw out another case. Get to the Nightshade Hotel. This time with a proper warrant. And bring in Harold Snuff, <laughs> a.k.a. Mr. White, an Iceman boss. Ice the man. charge is drug trafficking. Harold Snuff is a better bad guy name than Mr. Mr. White. White. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of downgraded there. All right, is he done yelling? He's done yelling. Man, Dirty Larry seems like a cool dude. Yeah, get him. <laughs> Just gonna waste every punk on the way to the hotel. Police business. Jeez. So looks like my two buttons are attack and change weapon between fist and pistol. All right. There's something about the art style I like in this. Yeah. I think I'm with you. <laughs> it it looks like a good like fake video game. Yeah, yeah. Like if this was on like some website as like, <laughs> check out our funny fake video game. He's just not using that holster at all. Gotta be ready for action. Yeah, he's a renegade cop. It's Stilberg. Why are there always just like evil dominatrixes in these games? Like whips and stuff and like BDSM paddles and crap. You don't see that walking around? Maybe you don't. Oh. Uh, you know, yeah, go in, in, this, in this post and, Fifty Shades of Grey world we live in now, right. people are just roaming the streets with <laughs> Fifty looking, Shades. Looking to be dominant and or submissive. Yeah, Fifty Shades sponsored e-liquids. <laughs> what? E-liquids? We live in a nightmarish. Please hell tell me that society. actually exists. Yeah, I don't, it's not like legitimately sponsored, but it's they're trying to piggyback on the success of Fifty Shades of Grey e to sell people I flavored. I would be surprised if the Fifty Shades garbage. people <laughs> weren't trying to actually like license like sex toys and stuff. Wouldn't that yeah, be like a natural? They are, and they are it, doing it, that. That stuff is showing up in like fucking Target. Really? It's, it's, <laughs> Holy shit! They look like low low quality items. <laughs> Looking at it with like a jeweler's little microscope thing. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm reading a book about SNL, uh, and I guess Rob Schneider would order sushi all the time when they were writing, and he brought out a jeweler's thing oh, God. to inspect every piece of sushi before he ate it for worms. What? Yeah, I'm reading Jay Moore's book about that stuff. Wow, okay. Well, that. Mm. <laughs> I feel like that explains a few things about Rob Schneider. <laughs> I'm out of bullets. Those right, guys Jeff. both try. This sucks. You ready for a new game? <laughs> I like the opening cutscene a lot. Uh, you've got some games. Yeah. So. Uh, Crystal Mines 2 is uh, pretty awesome. It sounds like a puzzle game. Uh, yeah. It's. Uh, did you ever play Boulder Dash? Older game than this? No. No. So I'm a, a robot, I can shoot the dirt. I want to get these gems, I need to get a set number of gems before I can leave the level, and there are enemies. Looks pretty dig duggy. But you're going up. What was the puzzle game that was, oh, it was a Columns. That was a big Genesis mm, one, right? Yes. Yeah. Didn't they make like some kind of pack-in where you get Sonic 2 and Columns or something? I think so, yeah. That sounds plausible. Bonus area. 
pro tip secrets for you right there. Uh, yeah, so it's a bunch of levels like this, uh, and it's pretty good. I crushed. Uh, Chips Challenge. Everyone knows Chips Challenge, but this, this is the version of it that I played. Everyone was like, oh, it's part of the Windows pack and blah, blah, blah. Chips Challenge. Everyone loves Chips Challenge, but this was the version I saw. Pretty similar game. <clears throat> Damn it. Saw a pass tense, because... I don't know about this. There you go. Are you guys familiar with Chip's Challenge? Uh, you, to be honest, I think, when, what was that new version that came out? Yeah, it was Chuck's Challenge, Chuck's made right. by Chuck Somerville. Who did okay. Oh. Chip's Challenge. Wait, so who's Chip? Chip is... The, okay, well, we'll get the story here. All right. Nerdy Chip McCallahan suddenly stops eating lunch. Melinda the Mental Marvel is sitting down next to him. It's a good name. So Melinda smiles. Chip, happen. she says, if you finish the challenge, you can join our computer club, the Bitbusters. Chip has been a distant admirer of Melinda for a long time. Chip crunches his bag of pretzels and gulps. I'll do it. Please enter the code at the starting level to begin. Okay, so it's a puzzle game. Wow. Use keys to open doors. A lot of keys are off the bat. Um, it it kind of shows you some tutorial stuff here. You know, these these first few levels are pretty easy, but generally you need to collect the chips uh, before you can exit the level. <laughs> and uh, now that we've done that, we can exit the level. Yowzer! Yowzer! First try. Yep. Yeah. How could you have a second try? Were there like death pits or anything there? In that level, no. God, what was the game that looked like this that was on Windows? It was you were a mouse and you'd be inside a big grid and there were cats on the outside and you had to like trap them. Drew, God, what the fuck is that called? And they would turn into cheese when you trapped the cat. Right. Fuck. Help us, chat. I'm gonna say mouse trap. So if I don't have the, I mean, the, the, the cleats, you know, when I get on the ice, it just scoots me around like that. Oh. Uh, so I need to get uh, the water things. So I can walk on water, and then the cleats are there. And now I can walk out here, get the fire thing. Mm. And now I can walk on fire. I get the magnet. Now I can walk on these uh, conveyor belts without being scooted around automatically. Pretty much walk yeah. on anything at this point. Exactly. They're just showing you how the items work, basically. And then now this is kind of the first real level, basically. <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna move to the back. Oops, Start there was fire there. Thing. Anyway, that's Chip's challenge. It's gonna be on cart duty. What am I on? Cart, cart duty? Yeah. yeah I think sure. that's that's probably that about it. We're just that's just about it. I mean, for, for stuff. we can look through these real quick yeah. here, and uh, <laughs> see if there are any others here. Power Factor is a shooter. I do like Shanghai, but you know it's Shanghai Toki. This Dracula game's real. Super Squeak is kind of okay. Steel Towns is a helicopter game. Let's look at Gauntlet real quick, because Gauntlet's fucking weird. Because it's just called Gauntlet, and it just has the art from regular ass Gauntlet. Yeah. One to four players link up. Okay, so I guess it wasn't actually eight. Oh geez. Well, I actually brought my links today, so we could uh, link up if you want. To. Yeah, yeah. Get your com links cable. Yeah, yeah. That's what I play on the bus. You ever get a Game Boy Micro? Yep. I bought pretty... the Famicom style one, the one they were out in Japan, and then left that, it in the box. I thought that was a pretty cool little uh, novelty. Yeah, it was just hard. To, anything with reading, it was, like, yeah. the screen was just so small. I still think the SP, uh, the one with the like, better backlight, uh, was maybe one of the best feeling uh, portables ever. Yeah. I mean, it's that really would fit easily in your pocket. Yep. Unfolded, the buttons felt great, backlight was awesome. Well, that's all fucked up. Oh, uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe. One more try here. Because the weird thing about Gauntlet, if I remember right, is you had to hold the links sideways to play it. That's weird. It's like the world's first iPhone game. Weird. What? Look at that. Breaking Gauntlet, all the rules. The third encounter. Oh god, you guys can't really see that too well, can you? 
Yeah. Yeah, it gets pretty freaky. I'll cut the brightness down a little bit. It's Goro's lair. So here are our character classes. Wizard, that was in Gauntlet. Samurai. Nerd. <laughs> Valkyrie, okay, Valkyrie, gunfighter, this is old Western. pirate, punk rocker, what? android. What the fuck? It's a weird fucking that's game, how, right? That's our nerd stand. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, be Valkyrie, because you always be Valkyrie. Yeah, so that's like a first person view of the, of the action. You see that key what? in the bottom left? Like, as I get closer to it, it's like, oh, there's a key there. Oh, weird. There's a note here. Is it really necessary oh, to be vertical? Oh, there's a scorpion here. <laughs> Did I, you consider this a good version of Gauntlet? No, it's a fucking insane thing. It's a weird sequel. They tried to do too much. It's, it, it, it's nonsense. It's That doesn't look comfortable to hold it that way either. Nope. And you have a you know inventory. Like It's a way more complicated game, uh, and that's cool and all, but it's just insane. <laughs> And this was like, I think one of the big early games for the Lynx was like, oh, we got Gauntlet. I'm like, okay, that's an Atari, you know, game. Why not? But like, it's just nuts. Yeah, so I, you know, I don't know. I, that's, I figured I would just show this to people real quick to see that huh. people of the late 80s were out of their fucking minds. <laughs> that's true, I was there. I drop that. I can drop that pot of gold anywhere I want. Anyway, that's Gauntlet, and uh, that's the Lynx. I don't know. There are there are more games on the Lynx, but uh, yeah. I mean, you know, like at some point maybe we'll just like run that stuff on an emulator so people can actually see what the fuck's going on. Because you can do that. I recommend it in some sense. Like if you want to play Lynx games and don't want to find six AA batteries, that might be a way to do it. <coughs> You want to see the epic saga of Dirty Larry in its entirety? Yes, I do. Right. It's the cutscenes. <laughs> yeah, see the yeah. movie. It's, it's worth it for the cutscenes. Uh, so I'm going to put this, all these Lynx games back in this plastic bag that I have kept my Lynx games in for... 25 years 25 almost? 25 years almost. <laughs> Same plastic bag. Yeah. Yeah, holds up pretty well, right? Belongs in a museum. It's a plastic bag? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, too bad. Instead, it's going to go... In a Rubbermaid like tub with my GameCom and my Leapster. I don't even know what the hell a Leapster is. Whee. PSP debug. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so trippy. That's cool. I'm gonna be sick. I like it. Again. Yeah, more. More. At least six more. No, oh, that's. <laughs> mm. This is now you're just cheating. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, sneeze cam. Brad. Hello, hi. You have come to the show with a game, and yeah. you have refused to tell anyone what it is. I hope nobody's done this on this thing before, because I think it's pretty cool. Uh, Jason, we're going to need some good studio audio out of here for this one. Uh, I haven't been feeling so great the last couple days. I picked up a PAX something, you know. Yeah, yesterday I was feeling a little off and wondering if I was getting it, but then I, w I woke up this morning feeling yeah. refreshed and okay, so. Like many people, when I'm not feeling well, I like to go to my happy place. Uh-huh. And I found the happiest of places. All right. It just takes a minute to boot. Okay. All right. It's the new retro arcade. Hmm. Oh no. Oh, we missed the logo. That's just a logo. It said we new retro logo. arcade. We missed the logo. It said new retro arcade. I'll start describing it to you. Just I love stop this moving. place. Don't move until at okay. least like they get it up. I could just launch it again. Is it a resolution? There, there it is. we go. Yeah. Step into my arcade. Can we get a little more audio? Is yeah, there audio? Yeah, some audio for this. I didn't know you had an arcade, Brad. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Finally, the truth can be revealed. What is this? 
Oh my God, what is this? This is really cool. I do, just the happiest place on earth. Well, how do you get this? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what fucking arcade you're hanging out in that has a boom box with a digital readout in it, but I call bullshit ah. on this whole fucking thing. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, wow. Eh, yeah, no. Let's see. <laughs> nah. Ooh, yeah. All right. What? Ah, what? Nope. Nope. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I want whatever this I've is. I've seen it. So, oh, no! Oh. You really screwed that up. Don't All try right. to press the X button to run on an Xbox controller. Oh, Where, did that, Where did that Game Boy go? Yeah, Super Nintendo. Super Famicom. Shut up! Fuck it, Super Mario Land. Oh, the music is so good. I forgot. In Super Mario Land. I forgot. Also, the... Thriller. That's good music. Thriller. The music Thriller, Thriller is could, also uh... pretty good. Who needs a Game Boy? Can... Nope. You're. All right. I want this room in my apartment. Yeah. Is this the thing that's been on Steam lately? The no. Anarchy Arcade or whatever? No, it's, it's literally called New Retro Arcade. Okay. Like, just go to Google and type that in. Look, it even scores the darts. Oh, wow. Uh, this has cool. to be like that Terradrome thing where it's, you can't pay money for this, right? No, no, it's super it's legal. Lunatics. I like that there's a Super Famicom here. Oh, wow, it saved my state from the last time. This would be good for Oculus. Uh, this works on Oculus. Does it? Yep. I'm against cool. consoles at an arcade. Ah. Always have been. Oop. Can you save? Yeah, like, no, the save, like, I don't, you don't have to save. It saved my state in Super Mario World from the last time I played this. What the fuck? Yeah, whatever. Fuck off, Yoshi. You just listen to Thriller and play Mario World? This is fucking great. I'll take it with us. I guess you can do that outside of the context of a game, yeah, too. You can just put Mario World in. <laughs> I did one of these at the Pinball Wizard in New Hampshire, and I oh. have not played basketball in a while. Yeah. Oh. I was disappointed that both of these smoking token machines nope. at the Pinball no. Wizard seemed to be yeah. a little on the fritz. I put ah. like eight bucks worth of tokens in that thing and didn't get a single ticket. Well, whatever, you got that those hair extensions. Yeah, and, but that uh, was from the, the crazy, wacky clown ball thing. Man, oh, I sunk yeah, like... Yeah. And I seriously sunk like ten of these before we did this. Nice. I got the uh, that that, fucking... uh, orange uh, Tootsie Roll Pop Yeah, for 50 tickets. That was cool. I spent yeah, 100 basketball at the fucking Pac-Man machine. <laughs> I spent 150 tickets out. and got purple hair extensions, a little, the tiniest thing of Jelly Bellies ever, and a snap gum thing, which I, I told Jeff I had some gum for him. And he pulled it out and snapped his finger. Yeah, right. snapped my finger. There goes. It's true. It's gonna be great. That's not how you bowl. It's like that Tommy February six video. I Man. Mixed up sports. <laughs> Man. I oh, whatever. Fuck that. Oh. Yeah. Way to bowl. It's a cool people bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Has there ever been like a really strong professional bowler who just like baseball threw the ball down there? That guy would be real cool. Nah, they usually, you know, let it go pretty quietly at the front of the lane. Yeah, but if you're yeah, you get like... those, some, those some people that let go late and then, you know, it goes halfway down the lane and goes boom, boom, boom. But I mean, if like Brock Lesnar decided to be a professional bowler, could he go out there? Are there anything in the rules that he couldn't throw it like a baseball down oh, there? Oh, this one's... I'm... Probably, I don't know. Is, it, is, the, is there, are there cartridges with it? This one, it booted. I heard the beep, but it's got the screen problem. Can't oh, actually wow. see anything. <laughs> uh, they even put in the README, they were like, hey, we use this like shader thing to work on the surfaces. They were talking about like the, look at like the surface of the Game Boy. Oh, Like yeah. the plastic kind of texture and everything That's on it. That's neat. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, so this is running on Unreal Engine 4.7. Oh, fair um, phone. Whoever made this, like it says in the README, it's like, hey, we made this so we could learn Unreal Engine. Yeah. Uh, and it's fucking awesome. <laughs> it doesn't come with any of the ROMs. You oh, have so to it's, supply those if you, you have to go play the games? They kind of point you toward the ROMs. Huh. Uh, but yeah. Playing the world version of Street Fighter 2, I, I see. I know, right? Yeah. Excluding United States of America. Yeah. Can you change, like, dip switch settings and stuff? I don't know about that.
I've never liked emulated scan lines. They just yeah. never look right. I turn those off always. Like those look like they're going the opposite direction or something. Oh. So do you have all the ROMs for all these? Yeah. You can walk up and play any of them? Yep. I feel like it should, it should keep all the games running at all times. Yeah. That'd be cool. I just, you know, you'd have to be actually emulating all the games in yep. real time. Like yeah. It, exactly. It'd probably get pretty heavy on the system at some point. Can, yeah, you put your, can you put your own music in there? No. Uh, it wasn't doing it this time, but it runs a bunch of, like, 80s radio ads huh. on this boombox. Like, legit old ones? Uh, it seemed like it. I don't know. Well, I wasn't paying too close attention. Oh, I can't read that. What does that say? Smith's this caring oh, man. Midland? Yeah. Oh, Faith and War. Oh. Mm. Wow. Kong Country 2. Yeah. So I'm going to say these guys are probably uh, British or something. Oh, because of the ROMs that they're using? No, well, by virtue of them having that Super Nintendo in their thing instead mm -hmm. of a U.S. SNES. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, let's play through all of Chrono Trigger. <laughs> Oof. Oh, what else is there to do in here? Thanks for the pass. Right there. You can even like see the freaking button that's working cool. on the song. Yeah. Wow. It's ridiculous. That's neat. Yeah. It's like a crazy amount of detail on this thing. Is there like a volume up on this thing? So what other games are in here? Cigarettes are bad for you. Uh, a lot of stuff. Asteroids. A little bubble bobble. What's, that, what's the, that machine on the left with the little neon? This? Like these two right here. Arkanoid. Oh, okay. What's the Wait, one behind you? They have two Paperboy machines? That one there. What, that one? Yeah. The Turtles. Oh. Yeah, Turtles. Yeah. The arcade game, yeah. I played the shit out of that. Hmm. Wait, look down. Does it not have the two different controllers? It's just got the one. Huh. Pressing the buttons. Stuff's happening. It's crazy. Love this game, holy shit. Let's go to the bowling alley and put so much money into this. I love this game so much as, as a kid that I went and investigated what it would cost to own one of these machines. Oh, really? It was like $2,000. Oh, shit. I was like eight. I did that for seven twenty. Yeah? I was like, called the arcade and said, hey, I want to, how much to sell that? <laughs> and they were like, five grand. I'm like, fuck you. Click on my Mortal Kombat 2 machine for 200 bucks. And then I, uh, the same pizza place had a Simpsons arcade game there. They said they sell it for 400 but it was all kind of fucked up and had like yeah. I don't know, pizza stains or something on it. It looked all shitty. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the filter they're putting on all the screens in this. Can you turn that off? It's, it's a little, little too intense. It's a little dirty. I don't know. Can you do like a zoom in real far there? Does that alleviate it? Eh, well, I mean, if you want to play like a oh. hyper clean version of this game, like <laughs> you just get a another different emulator. Yeah. 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 You know, it's, this is kind of doing something different, so. That's cool, yeah, like, we'll walk around, look at the cabinets some more. I love that Space Invaders side art. Where was that? Uh, the, uh to your, uh, no, go, to your, go that, that way, and it's on your left. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, the, yeah, really nice art on everything in this. Yeah. Oh, I've got a, they look cool as shit. I've got a flashlight. Oh. Because, oh. <laughs> of course, of course I have a flashlight. The bathrooms are not operable. What's that Is one? that machine back there broken? It's oh, nothing. you should hang up the phone. It's nothing. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good idea. What's that machine to the right there? Yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Oh, where did I throw the phone? I wonder if they, like, did the research and, like, had everything cut off. And, like, well, the most recent thing we have is, like, 1991 Super Mario World mm -hmm. or whatever. Or what was Chrono Trigger? That was a little later. 95? Yeah. All right. Here you nice go. work. Nice oh, work. what? Why is there a cassette tape stuck in the phone? <laughs> it's Maybe that's your reward. Reward. Why is it the final countdown? Yeah, you should probably put that in. Is that a reward you get for hanging up the yeah. phone? <laughs> I like that. Get in there. Do you have to take Faith No More out? Oh, it's in there. Oh, yeah, it's going to take it with me. It's 
be a button to put it on your shoulder. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah, just pipe it into the PA. Throw it down the bowling alley. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Wow. So they're using MAME then for their emulation, of course. Oh! Huh. Whoa. Huh. Oh, if you could just make that boom box louder, this thing would be perfect. That's pretty good. Pretty cool what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, this is rad. Yeah, didn't you say there's like a uh, can't you would go out there and get like sound effect packs, just like ambient sounds from arcades of different eras? Yeah, people have like put together uh, uh, just like you know, here's an hour long MP3 right. of arcade noises from. Late eighty one. Yeah. So like you know wow. machines that would be you know like appropriate or, or here's eighty four. You know like like if they just piped that through this thing, I think it would be freaking perfect. Yeah. Like I would totally put on a VR headset and just hang out in this place for a little while. It's so cool. Uh, thanks to Anthony on Twitter for pointing this out to me. Yeah, that's neat. Uh, oh yeah, uh, special thanks to Jug Nuts on uh, Giant Bomb. Jug Nuts. Mm -hmm. Or uh, telling me about, um, what was it, Arid Anus? Oh, I don't know why you're looking at me. Yeah. I don't know who Chuck Nuts is. <laughs> oh, Chuck Nuts. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Chuck Nuts. Oh, no, oh, no. why do you do that? I just, I just right, need to walk away from this right. machine in shame yeah. now. Yeah, fuck this. Let's go ahead first down the bowling alley. Yeah. <laughs> That'd probably be fun. I wonder, are the frames actually counted correctly on the left? Oh, it's got <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. They don't build arcade machines like that anymore. No, they do not. Uh, yeah, second frame, all right. Yep. Yeah, sure enough. Oh, that's a, that's that was a good shot. Good, yeah, yeah, that yeah, was good. good. Uh, is it not? Yeah. Is it a strike? Was it saying you got a strike, right? There. No! Oh! God damn it. Whatever. Yeah, new retro arcade. Yeah, if you, wanna, cool. if you want to download it, like I said, the ROMs are not that hard to come by. Well, yeah. Uh, can you go in the bathroom? Is there anything no, else? No, the doors aren't, aren't even like functional. Okay. Some of these Game Boy screens are so hard to see. Yeah. Well, what is it? Yeah. Trade West. What is this? Rare? Is battle Toads. It might be Battle Toads. Yeah, it is. Ah. Right, Mike. Robocop game's real good. Can't leave it behind during the solo. You can one. use the mask to turn it up and down. Oh shit. No, it changes That's station. The oh, station. Yeah. oh god. Yeah, so it's just streaming that in. Oh wow. From like, what? Uh, it's the last step in, I thought it said. Oh wow. No shit. Like shoutcast stations or something. Like uh, Euro Truck Simulator. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, no bathroom, sadly. And then this fucked up cabinet just hanging out by the bathroom. Well, cool. Yeah, this thing's awesome. Yeah, yeah. that's, uh, that's kind of rad. Go download it. <clears throat> this is like the first thing I've seen that really makes me wish I had an Oculus. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of tapes. All right, well, cool. Thanks, Brad. Yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty neat. Play Flappy Bird. What, what are they? I mean, do they? Uh, like, I haven't gotten it to work. Uh, I was gonna say, do they like code? I don't know. Flappy Bird, or is it just I don't know if this is supposed to be some kind of meta humor that, yeah. the, that the Flappy Bird machine doesn't boot. <laughs> yeah, mm. but it doesn't. It doesn't do anything. Kind of curious. It's kind of funny that they designed a cabinet for right. it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like seeing seeing the cabinets rebuilt in this kind of like half the appeal to me. Yeah. Yeah. Choices in movie posters are also pretty. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Weird. Well, all right. That's a weird thing. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, that's really cool. cool. That's awesome. Man. I like that a lot. Shut up. Does it start over from the beginning every time? I guess it does, huh? Oh. It's almost like a gone home type of thing, like kind of that era or whatever, like going back and looking at like old cartridges and things like that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm just going to keep playing this. You can make me stop whenever. All right. Well, you keep playing darts, uh, and we're going to go. Uh, everybody have a great weekend. Um, a lot of stuff up on the site. Yeah. Uh, if you want to see that stuff, and then we got more stuff next week. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs>